So today's my last day in Osaka. I'm getting the train to Kobe later. Just left my bags at the hostel. Gonna go explore Osaka a bit. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I was very hungover. Lost my voice, we're doing karaoke all night. So we're gonna head to some museums, like the Science Museum, an art museum, and then Osaka Castle, probably, and maybe do a little bit of shopping. I need to get a pair of shorts, I've only got one. And it's starting to get really hot. Today's gonna hit 22 degrees. I just got laughed at by the hostel owners for wearing a short sleeve shirt and some shorts. Uh, they said it was like I was on vacation. 22 degrees is hot, <laughs> definitely hot. But everyone here is still wearing like jeans and jumpers and stuff. And I see people wearing beanies and jackets, it's crazy. I'm gonna head over to the museums now and we'll catch up with you there. So we're outside the Osaka Museum of Science and the National Art Museum. The National Art Museum actually has Picasso's in, so I'm probably going to go in that. It's got his masterpieces apparently. Um, but we're going to head into the Science Museum first. An observation that I wanted to point out was everywhere in Japan on escalators, you stand on the left, you walk up on the right. Except for here. Here everyone stands on the right and walks up on the left. It's really strange. Like, I didn't notice it at first until I realised someone was trying to get past me and I was still on the left and everyone else was still on the right. I don't know why. It means you can tell who's from here and who's not when people stand on the left, like I did. Mm. Gonna head inside now, hopefully I'll be able to film some stuff. They've got an air and space exhibit, which I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully we'll see some cool stuff. So I've just finished up in the Science Museum. It's actually pretty awesome. It made me feel like a kid again. It, if you're from the north, you'll get this. It's kind of like a cross between just a regular Science Museum and then also Magna and Eureka. They're both kind of like real into the interactive science. Um, so that was really nice. Uh, unfortunately, just kind of got the timing wrong. Huge school group, so I couldn't go into the planetarium. But upon reflection, probably wouldn't be able to understand any of it anyway, because it'll all have been Japanese. I'm now going to go head into the National Museum and have a look at some of the Picassos. Thank you. 
So I've just finished in the National Art Museum. The first exhibit was a collaboration with Museum Bergruen in Germany. So they had a lot of Picasso's work, which was like the main attraction, but they also had Matisse and Paul Klee. I really like Paul Klee's stuff. I thought that was actually some of my favorite. And obviously the Picasso is really cool to see, to actually see it in person. Some of his stuff is completely mad. And I mean, so is Paul Klee's and Matisse's. I mean, Matisse is probably the least mad of them all. But I really enjoy Paul Klee's stuff especially. I'm starting to get really hungry, but the next museum is literally right behind me. It was across the road. So we'll pop into there, have a look. I think there's a lot of sculptures and stuff in there. And then we'll go get some food. So all I've got to say is, fuck that. Only one of their exhibits is open today and it's 2,000 yen to get in. So that's like 13, 14 pounds to see one art exhibit. It's not worth it. The exhibit's called Modern Paintings of Japan. I'm not really that fussed, so I'm gonna get some food because my stomach is rumbling. <laughs> and then do a bit of shopping maybe, and then we'll head to Osaka Castle, which hopefully should be pretty good. The city does feel quite strange to me. It sort of feels like it's been left behind by a lot of other cities. I don't know. It feels like it's had its heyday. And there's some nice stuff around, don't get me wrong, but it feels like it's trying to be Tokyo but isn't there. It's not really doing its own thing. So I'm here at Osaka Castle, just behind me. It was decent day out shopping, unfortunately. None of the brands that I like had shorts that were an acceptable price. And Wanda had some really nice shorts with their new Mates and Kitsune collaboration, but they were like 250 pounds for a pair of shorts, which is absurd. So I ended up just going to Uniqlo, got just a pair of their cargo style shorts are actually a lot lighter than I thought they would be. It's nice. Uh, they were, I think, about 18, 19 pounds. Much better value for money. I managed to grab a little bit of food. I was absolutely starving. I'm gonna sit in the park for a minute and have a drink. And then we're gonna walk up to the castle before heading back to the hostel to pick up my bags. So that's it, my time in Osaka done. That was Osaka Castle, the last thing I'm doing here. It's about five o'clock now, so I need to be heading back to the hostel, pick up my bags, and then it's an hour train to Kobe. Probably just get in and have a convenience store dinner, do some editing. The castle itself was pretty cool, built in like the 1500s. Didn't stick around for much of the exhibition though. Not really got time, enough time, unfortunately. It's been a nice five few days here, met some great people, <laughs> but on to the next city. <laughs> this really cute Shiba has just tried to eat my microphone <laughs> because it looks like a dead animal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so cute. <laughs>
So, I'm at the hostel in Kobe, it's called Hotel Nakamura. Would recommend, it's nice, it's like very homemade, it's very similar to the last hostel we were at. The guy who owns it seems great. I was going to take you with me to 7-Eleven, but I was just so hungry I completely forgot to get my camera out. I uh, had a really good noodle dish and then got this like steamed chocolate bun thing, it's really good. I think now it's time for me to edit this video, all sorts of photos, I want to edit because I'm a bit behind on that. There will be more coming to my Instagram, I've got loads of photos but I just edit a video and then I usually find that I just kind of want to go to bed. But I'm going to persevere tonight, get that sorted and then it's a new day tomorrow, well I think I've got two days here. I know that I want to explore Kobe for one of them and also go to one of the nearby mountains for the other one, do a bit of walking. But I wouldn't decide as to which, I'll take a look at the weather, see what's going to work best. But for now I'm going to sign off and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.